by the spray. Madam, an hour before the warship sun peered forth the golden windows of the east. What trouble mine been to walk? All of it went hence so fast. It was. What sadness <coughs> might have Romeo's hours? Not having that which happened. Oh, no! For even the day before she broke her brow. And my husband, I was a married man, took the child. Yea, said my husband, dost thou fall upon thy face? Thou wilt fall back. Each be spoke for our excuse, or shall we on with no day apology? The day is out of such prolixity, let them measure us by what they will. We'll measure them a measure and be gone. Give me a torch, not for the assembly. Being but heavy, I will bear the light. Nay, gentle Romeo, we must have you dance! Yes. Aye, believe me, you have a dance of shoes with nimble soles. I've sold blood so sticks me to the ground I cannot move. You are a lover! Borrow Cupid's wings and store them above a common bound! I am too sore in peers for the shaft to soar with his light feathery wings. I'm so bound I cannot bound the pitch above dull woe. Under love's heavy burden do I sink. And to sink in it, should you burden love? Too great oppression for a tender thing. Is love a tender thing? It's too rough, too rude, too boisterous. And it pricks like a thorn. If love be well with you, be well with love! Prick love for pricking <laughs> and beat love down. Give me a case for my visage in. A visor for a visor. What care I what curious side doth cope deformities? Here are the beetle brows shall blush for me. Come, knock and enter, and no sooner in will every man be taken to his legs. Let wanton's light apart, tickle the sense as rushes with bare heels, for I am preferred with a grand sour praise. I'll be a candle holder and look on, the game was ne'er so fair, and I am done. Tut! Don's the mouse, the constable's own word. If thou art done, we'll draw thee from the mire of this reverence love, where thou stickest up to the ears. Come, we burn daylight cold! Nay, that's not so. I mean, sir, in delay we waste our lights in vain, like lamps by day. And we mean well in going to this mask, but tis no what to go. Why, may one ask? I dreamed the dream tonight. And so did I. Well, what was yours? That dreamers often lie in bed asleep while they do dream things true. Oh, then I see Queen Madeline with you. She is the fairy's midwife. And she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone on a forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little adamants by the warp men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of long spider's legs. The cover of the wings of grasshoppers, the traces of the smallest spider's web, the collars of the moonshine's watery beams, her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of film, her wagon, a small, gray-coated gnat, not so big as a round little worm, pricked from the lazy finger of a maid. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or old grub. Time, out of mind, the fairies' coachmakers. And in the state, she gallops, night by night, through lovers' brains, and then they dream of love. <laughs> or courtiers' knees, that dream on courtesy straight. Or lawyers' fingers, who straight dream on feeds. Or ladies' lips, who straight on kisses dream. Which off the anchor mound with ooh, blisters and plagues, because their breaths were Sweeping stands. Sometime she drives or coiner's nose, and then dreams he of smelling of suit. And sometime comes she with a tiny pig's tail, tickling a parson's nose that lies asleep. Then dreams he of another man with this. Sometime she drives or soldier's neck, and then dreams he of cunning foreign throats, of breaches, amiscados, Spanish blades, of how Swears a prayer to and sleeps again. This is the very man that clasps the manes of horses in the night and baits the elf locks in foul, sluttish hairs, which once untangled much misfortune boats. This is the head that would maids lie on their backs, that presses them and learns them first to bear, making them women of good carriage. This is she. Talks of nothing.
true. I talk of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain, begotten of nothing but vain fantasy, which is as thin of substance as the air, and more constant than the wind. In this wind you talk of, it blows us from ourselves. Supper is done, and we shall come too late. I fear to worry. For my mind misgives some consequence yet hanging in the stars shall bitterly begin the fearful day with this night's revels, and expire the term of the closed life held within my breast, by some vile forfeit of untimely death. But he that hath steered to my course direct my sail. On, lusty gentlemen. Strike drum! Well, I'm with you tonight. <laughs> which of you all will not deny to dance? She the next day, she'll swear it, of course. You are welcome, gentlemen. I've seen the day when I have one advisor and can tell a whispering tale of the fair ladies here such as we please. <laughs> Tis gone, it's gone. You are welcome, gentlemen. Come, musicians, play! Good pilgrim, you do wrong your head too much. 